A few months ago, I used the Ali Abdal ghost theme to set up my personal website and it turned out really good. So I want to continue on with a series to go over exactly how to customize this theme. So if you haven't seen the initial setup and installation, go back and watch that video and I will link my ghost affiliate link below. But in this video, we're gonna go over the customization of that theme template. It does require a minor bit of code, which scares the crap out of people I know, but I'm gonna break it down for you guys step-by-step step on how to edit the code so that way we can customize our theme of our personal website on Ghost without like overwhelming you with a bunch of coding knowledge. It's gonna be super simple, I swear. So in this video, we're gonna first go over the documentation, which is the code documentation of the theme itself. So I'm gonna teach you how to read it. I'm gonna be referencing it a lot throughout this video. So I just wanna quickly go over that. Then we're gonna go in, open the code, edit it, and then re-upload the code to the ghost.org website. So that way we can customize it. And finally, we're gonna add some pages which are required in order for it to link to something. So I'll show you exactly how to do that as well. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel and I film videos basically on personal website, business, finances, everything to do with anything in your 20s. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. The first thing we're gonna go over is the documentation itself. So the person who wrote this theme wrote it and then put together a documentation form, which is very common when you build any sort of developer tools. So anyway, we're gonna learn how to read it. It's very code heavy, and that's why I think it's important to film these kind of videos because not everybody has a developer background. So even if you've never touched code in your life, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this documentation. So now we're gonna open and edit the physical code. I know it sounds scary, but it'll be fine. First, you need to download a software called VS Code. It is completely free, so I'll show you how to do that here. So if we look at this computer screen here, we have basically the VS Code download situation, which I will link it below. But you're gonna download it whether it's a Windows or a Mac. But the first thing we're gonna do is grab the zip file. So if you go to Gumroad um, and sign in, you should have in your library the All the Abdal package that you purchased. You're gonna download this zip, put it somewhere, and unzip it. So I put it, let's see, where did I put it? Here, and what I did is I just right clicked the Ali Abdal one and I just press, pressed extract all and just put it in the same folder, just press okay. Then you're gonna open it up and you should have two folders, this Mac, whatever, and then this Ali Abdal file. We are gonna follow the set up the homepage documentation from Dan here. Now he put together a step-by-step -step guide because what the problem is with Ghost is you can't edit any of this stuff in the actual Ghost template, like the Ghost website itself. So what we're gonna do is basically edit these home buttons and make sure they go to physical pages. Because when I first downloaded it, I had a bunch of 404 errors that were like, oh, you're not linking correctly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and open what's called the home.hbs code. So now that you've unzipped it, you're gonna open, go into this folder, Ali Abdal, and find the home.hbs. It should open it in Visual Studio Code, which is VS Code, and it, you should start up up here, and it looks scary, I know, but it's fine. I like to just search for Control Find and type in productivity, and then exit out of there, because I found it and here is productivity. So, a little bit of basics of coding. This is a link, this is a link, and this is a link, which makes sense because you have three links on your page. This first one goes to backslash productivity, which basically says, it's just list.org backslash productivity backslash. And then it has the emoji, and then it has the main title, which is an H2 heading two, and then it has a little paragraph. So if you wanna edit any of this stuff, you actually have to go in here and edit it. So productivity, my top tips for breaking down goals. Um, I'm just gonna put, yeah, my top, um, I'm just gonna put tips. Tips for breaking down goals and staying productive, great. Next one, you can change the emoji. I changed this to books because it made more sense. I think this was studying beforehand. Books that I think every person should read in their lifetime, cool. This other one I call a YouTube, so YouTube. 
how I started my channel and make passive income online, great. Scroll down, there's more. Now this is again on your website, if you go to your site, this is this guy, because you can see the little backpack uh, emoji, my online courses. So I changed this to browse all my Skillshare courses um, because I don't have any other online courses. Uh, so you can go in there and edit that as well. And that's this guy here. So this backpack, this B, and then this div right here. So make sure you avoid all the code itself. You just want to be altering the text. That's why you don't really need to have coding background for this. Now press Control S to save this file. You're going to exit out of it. You're going to find it. Go back all the way back to the original folder here. You're gonna right click and you're gonna press compress to zip. I have done this like six or seven times. So I'm gonna call this edit four. And then you're gonna press enter. And that is your new zip file. So you have edit four. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your website. You're gonna to go to settings. You're gonna click design. You're gonna press change theme. And then at this top right hand corner is upload theme. And you're going to drag and drop that zip folder that you just edited there. Press activate. And you'll see it kind of changed. It got rid of my video. So I'm like, Ooh, that's kind of scary, but let's go ahead and press save. And then we will change all that stuff. So on the homepage, it basically reset everything because it was like, I op I uploaded a brand new theme. So I need to go back and get my, my URL for my YouTube video that I want up there. So I'm going to control C that piece, that little ID part. I'm going to paste that in YouTube ID. I'm going to call this check out my resources. Cool. Um, save. And then it should save that. Oh, added the, the video, which is good. Um, I think it has a of dolls stuff in here. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's save. And then it looks a lot better. So it, sh it should have changed all that stuff. So now if we go back to view site, we should be looking good. Now you'll notice that these links, if since you changed that URL, they're not going to actually go anywhere until you establish a page with that URL. So if we look back at the code really quick. So if you go back in here and we look at home, dot HBS, which by the way, I have no idea what that means. I just know basic um, HTML and stuff, so I can kind of get around. But if we go back down, we had an href, which basically says, look, reference this link to this URL. We have productivity, books, and YouTube. That's three pages. So what we need to do is to go back to your website and go to pages and make three pages with those URLs. So what you're going to do is you're going to press new page. And so let's just start productivity. You make a new page. You're going to type productivity in the title. Double check that in this right hand corner that that says productivity and it's spelled the exact same way as the code. So that says productivity. And then our code says productivity. And just make sure they're spelled the same because you're basically linking that to this page. So whatever you type in here, look how productive I am and press update. That way, when you go back to your site and you press productivity, your content is there. So you're going to want to do that for three pages. So I have a page productivity. I have another page books and YouTube and just make sure the URLs match what was in the code itself. And then you just kind of edit and then you have your site with your three links that should work now and everything should look the way that you want it to. If you want to change this bottom piece, you have to go to settings, design, and I think it's site-wide. Oh yeah, it's down here. So you can put subscribe to my daily or my weekly newsletter, just so we don't like say we have like a thousand, hundred thousand people on our newsletter. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We should have um, a navigation bar, which you can edit if you want. It's very simple. If you go to settings, navigation, you can add your other one of your three links. So I added my books and then just make sure that you use that backslash books and it matches the URL that you had in your code. So we go back to the site. 
and we should be good now. So we have, you know, a nice video. You can edit this in the home page. You can edit these three and each, each one of these links gets its own page. And then same thing goes here. So I think we should be all set now and you should be able to customize everything yourself. Now, if you're interested in seeing how I use Ghost to put out my newsletter and sign up for my newsletter below to see what it looks like, I will link that video here where I'd go into detail about how I made a newsletter on Ghost. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.